How you deal with it, it counts. Morning, Professor. Toby. All quiet? Uh, Nurse Hayes gave Henry a sedative in the night, so he'll need to sign it off in the log. Actually, I might up his dosage. His aggression levels are a bit concerning. Leave Henry to me. I'm adopting an alternative approach. Oh, for you okay with all this? Um. You might not have been with us long, but have I not enlightened you with the parable of my wife's return to work? You're married? Sorry, none of my business. It, it, it's just you, you uh, never mentioned her before, so I... Doesn't matter, sorry. As I was saying, we needed some childcare for my son, so I did some research in the local nurseries and found the best place going. He was a bit clingy when I dropped him off, but all the other kids were running around as happy as pigs and shit, so I thought he'd be okay. Only when I go to pick him up, I find they've stuck him in front of the television all day. So, if that had been your child, what would you have done? I'd, um, I would find another nursery. Absolutely, literally right, you would, because you and me have a choice. Chloe doesn't. Either we look after her properly, or we don't. Um, Dr. Jameson lets her watch as much television as she likes. Dr. Jameson's a wanker. Ah. Brought in this morning. This is marked confidential. Well, I, I thought you valued my opinion. Only when I ask for it. No, hang, hang on, Professor. Our culture of secrecy and isolation serves only to reinforce the refuge of fantasy. Only when we indulge their world of make-believe will they trust us to bring them back to reality. Who said that? that sounds like one of mine. Practical lessons in the treatment of delusion, chapter five, barriers to communication. Not relevant. That refers to patients, not colleagues. I'm just trying to help. I... Case history. Um, you only read it five minutes ago. Well, uh, he, uh, he was found wandering half-naked in the woods. He attacked the arresting officer and spent the night in the cells before they transferred him to us. You said he? Um, they found him in the woods? He spent the night in the cells? She's, uh, she's definitely a woman.
Prognosis. It's obvious, isn't it? She's round the twist mental. Very insightful. You'll see her, then. She needs you. If I go, you promise. I promise. Now, toddle on. a police officer and they question your sanity <laughs> joke let's start with your name i have to call you something judith my name's judith and do you know where you are judith and do you know why you're here i'm here because of jack and who's Jack? <laughs> who's Jack? My son. Picnic for his birthday. It was last year. Today, last year. It would have been his birthday if the angels hadn't taken it. It's okay. Take your time. They had an accident on the way back. The police said that the traffic lights were broken and it wasn't his fault. But I blamed him anyway. And now... Now I just want to tell him that I've forgiven him. But it's too late. He's gone. Where? Have the angels taken him as well? No. I need someone to help me find him. Not really. Please. Just, I just want him back. Um. Please. I just want him back. If you go down to the woods today, you're in for a big surprise. If you go down in the woods today, you're in for a big surprise. Go down to the woods today. Okay, Judith, I want you to wait here until I find someone to help. No, I don't need any help. I just want my husband back. Done with him. What have you done with him? Orderly. 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 Restrain her. Restrain her. Stay where you are.
How'd it go? Yeah. Memory's confused. She's disconnected, doesn't recognize the world around her. Classic post-traumatic stress disorder. <laughs> but, uh, you, you can help her, though, can't you? Not my area. I'll refer her to uh, Dr. Jamison. I needed you to see her. I had no choice. She's forgiven you. It's the truth. She has. Ask her. She has. Just ask her. Ask her. Hello, Judith. Hello, Gideon. You're going to sit down. Why are you? 